Okay, welcome to No Man's Sky Frontiers Part 5. We'll just get things going here. This is exactly where I left you off before. We're scanning stuff. Um, last episode, we got our hyperdrive up and running, and we're going from new to new planets. Now, we're just trying to collect enough money and enough resources so that we can upgrade our multi-tool and, and really get things moving in this game here. This, I've pretty much done the early initial parts. The game itself is going to get a lot more complex. There's going to be many more choices of things to do. So let's go after that very technology module. So I'm just going to begin here. It's not going to seem so exciting to start. But uh, I'm just going to begin here. We're going to be accumulating money, especially money, but also some of these other resources. Oh, it's right on the surface. That's cool. And we got whatever's in here. Because I really want to upgrade that multi-tool. That really is the big thing to do. And see, I've already improved my scanning modules. See, I've added these, uh, these upgrades to the scanner. Now they're blocking any further upgrades to my multi-tool. But the thing is, now when I scan stuff, I actually make some decent money doing it. So, except for rocks. If I scan rocks, they don't make anything worthwhile. But, but check this out, right? Here's an animal that I'm scanning. And 15,000. Also, too, if I go to the Discoveries tab, I just hit Escape to get into these tabs. I've discovered six of the ten fauna so far. We had 25,000 nanites. Wow, that's a lot more than it used to be if I find them all. So, uh, there's a couple of underwater ones. Uh, a ground one that's a bit rare and... Yeah, three underwater ones and a ground one that's a bit rare now. So I'll be looking for some water. And for that last, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> so that's, that's for 28,000. Eventually when I get all of my multi-tool upgrades done, hitting something like that is going to be worth something like 400,000 units. So that's definitely going to be worth my while. And I want to get those 2,500 nanites because that's how I'm going to be able to afford the scanner upgrades that I need when I get my multi-tool upgraded. So I'm just keep looking for other new stuff here. See, now it'll tell me, that little pop-up display will tell me if I've run across something I, ha I don't recognize. Oops. And I need to be careful. I haven't died yet. We're into part 5 here. And I'm hoping to basically not die. Not that it's an issue, really. Uh, I'm playing on the easiest setting in which dying is an inconvenience at best. But... Oh yeah, right. These also, you, oops. These also, you can scan. So, not worth a whole lot, but hey, 3,000 units is 3,000 units. And until you're a billionaire, that's still a fair number of units. Okay, get a little supplies here. Benched Carmen, yeah, we like that. Whoops. Well, first of all, we'll scan this. Then we'll destroy it. And take out these. Although, I'll be switching pretty soon from harvesting this stuff to just buying it because. I'll have tons of money. Okay, let's 
recharger power life support gel does that and if you wonder where I got the life support gel it's from those uh, cargo drops right so now I'm looking for underwater sources of life and There's one. Oh, he's gone. Those guys are hard to find. There we go. There's some deeper water. There's something there. You see the red dots, right? Those are animals of some sort. be careful not to drown in the water. That's why I'm sort of cautious about going deep into the caves because, <laughs> you know, looks tempting, but where would I find oxygen? Now you can find oxygen from these plants, which is nice, but you can't always count on those plants. There he is. Alright. One more underwater creature to go. Maybe he's in this little bit of water, maybe he isn't. We don't know. out of the water and then popping back in. Sometimes it, it resets the system. Again, keeping in mind this is all procedurally generated, right? So things like animals and fish and whatever, they just pop up when they pop up. fish are only going to pop up in water and similarly with land and animals and animals. So taking a bite out of me here. Left unattended. That could kill me so let's be a little careful. Harvest this whatever's in here. Again, usually nanites, and we like nanites, but sometimes something else. Maybe it was nanites this time. Alright, let's make our way back toward the ship a bit here. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get our nine animals. Bigger, some bigger bodies of water. I think that's the one I was just in, but I'm not sure. Alright. What do we got here? 
about but let's not let it tempt me from my objective here and that objective is to find another body of water and a big enough body of water where I can find that last remaining creature that I can scan bodies of water. Well, that makes it easy and hard, right? Because small bodies of water means that things are more concentrated. You know, there's some language here. Alright. That's a bit bigger than last time. Definitely deeper, so... Forget about that other ship. Alright, let's just work our way toward that. No sea life in this at all. blowing these out of the way because I don't like some. I don't really need the oxygen anymore. I should probably stop wasting my time on them. But you know, sometimes it gets personal. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing in that sea. So we'll do a little more searching for more sea. That was kind of weird that there were no, there was no animal life in that. Let's just see if this is going to give me any clues. Discoveries. Fauna. Nine out of ten. Common, underwater, always active. And that's what it looks like. Maybe that's what it looks like. There's 
probably not what it looks like. All right. the night side. Well, sometimes things are active at night that aren't active during the day. That discovery thing will tell you sometimes, but I wouldn't count on it to always tell you. Ooh, what I found. This is nice. This is a great big settlement here. Again, though, it's distracting me from my core purpose. <laughs> um, but what this is, is um, basically it's an alien archive. It's got a lot of the same features as, a, as the space station does. Um, they're not super rare, but they're sort of rare. They're handy to have because there'll be technology merchants and such. Um, but you know, it's nothing that you can't get elsewhere, so I'm not going to linger here. Stay on my task. Some a little water. Let's try this water. It's right near that archive, anyway. So. It's really shallow water. I mean, nothing. generous description of it. <laughs> you keep looking. I mean, the reward is sufficient. I think 2,500 nanites. That's enough of a reward to convince me to... Uh, Searching for this thing. through I think Tempting, but I don't see any sign of them. And again, when you drown, you drown really fast. You run out of oxygen and you drown like pretty much right away. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. All right, let's go searching for more water elsewhere.
pulling away from the planet a bit and then I'll come back to it with a better angle of attack. Go some distance away. Now this looks more promising. Proper water. So just land here. All right. This is this is a lot more promising. kind of fun raiding these crystal sulfites. They're not worth a whole lot. They're worth something. Uh, of course, if the inventory's full, they're not worth anything. Why is my inventory full? Oh, I forgot to sell that. Might as well just consume these pulpy roots. There we go. Munch, munch. You have to be kind of careful because there's only ever enough time to get two before it blows. There it goes. And now we'll come back and pick up the third. There's always three. I don't think I've ever seen four on one of those. Alright, back to the task at hand. Which is searching for sea creatures. how we'll finish the episode. But for now... It's funny how empty these waters are. Using the scanner here won't help me at all, but, uh, you know. There's some fish. There's some fish. Now we're getting some, some creatures here. There's another one of those crystal sulfide things. Let's snag one or two of these before it blows. Okay, where's my ship? Let's head back to the ship. As we do that. <laughs> yes, I already got you. How do I know that? Because I got them all. Here we are. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit escape again and record this discovery before I leave here. Fauna, 10 out of 10. Let's watch those nanites explode. Yes. And you can also upload all of them individually. F to upload. And each one of those is worth something free. But what again, what I like to do is um, oops, go into the discovery screen. discoveries at once here so, so here we go and that'll add well, another 250 259 nights to my total see now 2900 that's a pretty good total pretty happy with that I mean we want more and more and more many more but that's pretty nice but and look at, let's see, I made 370,000 units. I'm going to need a lot more than that. But this is pretty good. And let's, though, wrap up this episode by completing what is basically the next milestone. And that's following this thing here, the anomaly. That's going to form a part of what we do in the future. So you can actually summon this very easily, but this is my first version of visiting it. So we'll just visit it here and of course we can. Didn't get anything with that. <laughs> There's the door. And we'll enter the space anomaly. And again, we're going to see this quite a bit in future episodes. And in fact, while we're here, I'll do a quick tour and then we'll call it for now. See, and these are all the ships of other players. We have living ships, we have special ships. It's awesome join quests there but for now I'm just going to go up in here this is Ariadne there's various things Various aliens in here. Nada and Polo are the ones. They're back. They're from the original iteration of this game. And yeah, we find them right here. This is Nada and Polo. I think this is Polo. No, this is Nada. And we can ask Nada about things. Yeah, so the very first iteration of the game, we had Nada and Polo, and that was it. There, there was nothing else. Um, there wasn't even this. There wasn't even this anomaly. So now we'll go to Polo. And it's not always profitable to speak to Nada and Polo, but it is in this case. So I'll do a little bit of interaction. Yes, discovery is exciting. All right, but now, say space, speak to other travelers to earn nanites, and that's really why we're here. So, um, this is kind of the center, and the way the system is, the way the station is set up, uh, there's a, a left and a right, 
and then a back and a front. Now that and follow are in the center at the front. Now we're going to go to the side here and it's a bit lower and here there are places you can earn things. So right off the bat, I think, is there one up here? I don't think there is one up here. No. But right off the bat, we have this one here. And this is where our symbol is. So this is Helios. Helios likes stuff. And it likes to get data. And when you give it data, it gives us nanites. Okay. And here's another one. Aries. So now we'll transmit some milestone data. And yes, more nanites. A good chunk of nanites. Now, this is the, sh yeah, this is the chef. Um, we'll present some sweet root to it. It'll give us a little bit for that, but as you make recipes and different types of food, it will give you more nanites. Now, over here, two fairly useless creatures, Gemini and Hesperus. a lot and gives us nothing. Same with Hesperus. Talks a lot, gives us nothing. See? Trouble parallel. See? See? So, not really much use talking to him. So that's this right lower side creatures that are here. So let's go back to the center again. Okay, and again at the front that's not a polo. Back here are all the stations where you can discover new things etc. So uh, what we've got here this is ship technology. This is construction technology. This is exosuit technology, including an exosuit upgrade, which we will take. Again, you have to pay for it. And over on this side, we have multi-tool technology, including replacement multi-tools but again it's no better than the one I have so who cares right now we have here synthesis okay new product recipes okay and then finally we have exocross so this New product recipes, this is new for uh, Frontiers. It wasn't here in previous iterations. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so all the different recipes. We To get these, what we used to have to do is go raid research stations. So this is nice. As you can see, they're fairly expensive, but uh, yeah, well. So, and these, see, I already know how to see. Remember the Atlas Passes? Now I could learn how to get one of these and uh, and uh, open those round containers. So uh, I might do that. So visit a technology researcher such as Celine. 
I'm not sure which one is Selene. Hyperion. Selene, okay. Yeah. And Selene. Let's see, here's my Excel suit upgrades that I can get. So, hazmat gauntlets, that's always nice. Oxygen recycler, I already know how to make. But you see, I can get some better ones. Simple translator. Um, but I'm a, so 80 nanites, I'll pick up the hazmat gauntlets. And again, I can make those now and add them to my Excels. Uh, browse a huge array of base parts. So, the base parts area is. That's not it. Is this it? No, no, it's back here. Here it is. No, a starship construction. Here we go. See so now, look, you see all these different kinds of construction modules, cuboid rooms, etc. Now that's where the salvage data that I've been picking up comes in so handy. Right, there's the teleport module. I can build a landing pad if I want, a pyramid modifier, oxygen harvester. We're going to want, well, eventually all of this stuff. Roamer Geo Base. That that'll be a different quest at some point in the future. So and a Galactic Trade Terminal. I can build my own message modules. So there's tons of stuff here. And I'm actually gonna cash in some of my chips and learn how to build a landing pad. And anything else? Seeing some here, there's no other way to spend them, so uh, oh, alternative landing pad. Okay, that's different. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Teleport cable. And, right, the teleporter. Love the teleporters. So we'll get that later, but now I only have four left. So let's get some simple stuff. Message. Oh. Transport modules, decals, flight path poster. Oh, posters, okay. Wall screen, depth chair, desk chair, ornate stool, that's new. Step ladder, that's new. Ooh, lots of new stuff. Spark plug, that's new. Lantern, we've had that before. Wiring wall switch. Hydroponic tray, we might as well learn that. And that's everything we have. Okay, now I'll speak to Nada about Artemis. Alright. I thought we already had, but return to Nada. So the Artemis quest The Artemis quest is a special thing. Okay, and he's gonna give us a gift. Okay. Some nanites. Nice. Okay, so continue the search for Artemis. See now what's gonna happen with No Man's Sky is the the opportunities are going to branch out. And there's actually going to be several things. If I hit escape and go to log, you see, we have some primary missions and some secondary missions, right? So now we have a whole bunch of choices and it's open-ended at this point. You can do whatever it is you want to do. I like that a lot. Now, we finally go to the other side of the space station of the anomaly. This is a nice guy. He's useless, but he's a nice guy. I like him. <laughs> and we will 
exchange snowing dogs. And we will never do anything else but exchange snowing dogs. At least that was in the past. Okay. Back there, we can't actually do anything with this yet, I don't believe. Yeah. This is something called Remembrance. Come on. Yeah, see, nothing yet. It plays a role in an upcoming quest. And then in the front of this area. one more entity and this means we'll have talked to almost all of them so let's give you an itch because <laughs> and that's it it just takes your money now there's a terminal we'll come back to that but I just want to point to the outside here so outside we have this area here, which is the Nexus, and the Nexus allows us to go on quests, right? Um, all kinds of quests. These are pretty good. Some of them you can get real rewards, but they can be hard if you don't have the tools. So we'll leave these for later. And then finally, over here, you earn Quicksilver from quests. And then you have the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. You can collect Expedition Rewards. Right, and these are all the rewards. Now, these are rewards that I have earned from previously playing this game. <laughs> so, um, and that includes a spaceship. So, I'm going to claim my spaceship. <laughs> Compare. It's an S-Class. I'm going to claim the ship. And that's what I'm going to be flying from now on. Um, so, but also, uh, you can create exotic items from Quicksilver. Now, of course, I don't have any Quicksilver in this game. But, oh well. But I do have, now, if this is your first time playing No Man's Sky, you were not going to have this spaceship. But it's not my first time playing No Man's Sky. So, I'm going to go back here. This is my old spaceship. So, go back into the old spaceship. Now, what I'm going to do actually is... I'm going to go back to my home base. Yeah. How am I going to do that, you ask? Well, I'm going to go back into the station. So. So, past Artemis here. Up into the station. Here we are at the center again. I'm going to go to the left side. And the knowing nod guy and to the teleporter and worthy of note um, there are places I can go uh, these are all the different uh, plant or state systems that I've visited these are some outposts from I guess other people my bases, of which there's one, stations I've visited. So, these are all other people's bases. Very often worth a visit. You never know what you'll find there. And I'll explore some of those later. But let's go back to my base. Because remember, my uh, thingy was doing... My base computer had new information. So we'll go to my base, we'll go to the base computer, collect the information, 
and then we'll call it a wrap for this episode and for today actually well I'll get my gold starship back and then we'll do that okay so let's oh that is the base computer so There was something that it wanted. Okay, well, we'll upload the base. Alright. Nice little flower. Let's earn a few units. <laughs> In fact, all of these plants now are worth scanning. And the animals are worth scanning. And, uh,. But anyhow, how do I get my golden spaceship? X to call spaceships. Summon vehicles. Summon other ship. Now that's the one there, you may remember that I claimed it was all damaged. There it is, still on fire. <laughs> but X summon ships. I'm going to summon my golden vector. And here it comes. Oh, there's something flying around there. Hey, I'll scan that later. So this is my golden vector. It's an S class. It's a great ship. It's got stuff in it. And um, I'll be using this one from now on. So that's it for this episode. And uh, I'll wrap it up here. And uh, we'll continue on a little bit later. Don't know when, but later. <laughs> <laughs>